Welcome everyone. Are you a part of a greater organization that could use some shared services approach partnership to streamline resources and help your own providers? We love to network and expand our reach as much as possible. Um, and a lot of that has to do with our national expansion efforts plays a huge part of that. So today we're going to chat with one of our own national expansion partners. Hi everybody. If you're new here, Malena, again for our weekly What's Up Wednesday interview session. Today I'm so excited to be joined by Summer today. She is the program manager at Early Childhood Action Strategy. She's going to be the program manager there, and she's going to tell us a little bit about her partnership, how that started with the project that we've got going, its growth and progress so far, and about their providers. So hi, Summer. Thank you so much and appreciate your time today. Hi, Melina. Aloha. <laughs> Love it. All right. So tell us a little bit about yourself, the project, and its overall goals to get started. Yeah, it's nice to nice to see you and aloha out there um, to the big wide world from <laughs> sunny Kaneohe Oahu, Hawaii. I'm Summer Kelly Ipio. I'm the project manager for Kaupana Shared Services, which is Hawaii's pilot project um, to bring shared services to the state. So um, I'm I'm just the project manager. I've been contracted by Early Childhood Action Strategy. Um, to help support this pilot um, and the 20 pilot participant uh, family child care providers who will be joining us um, in the project. Um, and I'm just really happy and excited to be able to bring additional tools to the early childhood space, um, particularly those that are technology based because uh, we know that technology is not the future, it's the now. And we wanna make sure that our child care providers have all of the the tools at their fingertips um, and that we help to help them to learn how to use them in the best way. Um, the project itself um, really was uh, started out just to get 20 um, pilot providers on board using um, ELV's Alliance core system. Um, and uh, for the 20 pilot participants, we have philanthropists who are funding the pilot. So they get one, one year of scholarship participation in the Alliance core. Um, of course, we we ask them to participate in certain in certain activities as well as using certain features in the Alliance Core, um, and that's so that we can get a good understanding um, on behalf of all of our providers in the state of Hawaii what works, what doesn't work, what are some of the things that we need to work on um, in terms of processes, um, uh, if we need any other additional tools, or we need to work on the childcare. Uh, ecosystem as a whole, we want folks to be able to focus on those areas. So we we will ask our 20 pilot participants to, to work together with us um, in certain aspects of the Alliance Core. Um, we, uh, the project uh, started up in 2020 because, um, well, folks have been talking about doing shared services for a while. I wasn't a part of those conversations, but <laughs> but many of the, um, the folks in Early Childhood Action Strategy Network that includes um, you know, our public partners, Department of Education, the Executive Office of Early Learning, Department of Human Services, Patch, Learning to Grow, Winter Community College, um, uh, Hawaii Community Foundation, they were all um, talking about this for a few years and um, the COVID-19 lockdowns and the pandemic um, resulted in, in us losing seats uh, for right. childcare across the state. And um, uh, we've been talking about shared services for so long, it seemed like the appropriate time to just <laughs> go ahead and get going and, and do something about it. Yeah, I kind of grabbed the bull by the horns and let's let's get going on this. So yeah, we started, uh, the, start, the project started back in September, October, um, and we're just trying to learn how to use this system and use shared services as a means of uh, supporting family childcare, getting them back on their feet if they've been out of operation because of the pandemic, um, or helping folks to just uh, run a more efficient um, and satisfying and fulfilling childcare business too. So yeah, that's that's a little bit about, about the project and, and our goals. Yeah, that was a, a fantastic overview. You got a lot of information there. So you touched on it a little bit, kind of how the partnership started, but can you explain a little bit how the project is different from how ELV is as an organization? Oh, yeah. So um, the project uh, came to be because uh, our, our providers, our, our partners in the public sector, um, and all of the supporting organizations have been talking about how to help family child care homes for a long time. Um, the hidden gems of of um, early childhood services. And um, so when when we started to see the, the childcare seats go down because of the pandemic, um, we wanted to do something about it, you know, kind of 
looked across um, the technology platforms available and investigated all of them to see what would make the best sense. And so um, we chose ELV because of the customer support and the one-to-one -one relationship that folks like Malena um, <laughs> and all of the trainers and, and you know support services that they provide face-to-face -face support for our providers. No one likes calling those numbers and oh then God. pressing oh. one and then pressing nine and then press eight and then press one and then you're not even sure what's going on anymore. And Nobody then likes to yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and then you never get a call back, right? And especially at this really hard time um, in the world where a lot of people are doing things like filing for unemployment or trying to get PPP loans and they're not getting any phone calls back, we, we really felt like uh, we would be doing maybe more trauma to to provide them with a system that they weren't able to talk to a human and connect. And so um, we went with early learning ventures because of the opportunity for them to get, you know, the best face to face. Of course, it is all virtual, but the best possible face to face that you can get um, in a global pandemic. And that's with the folks at ELV. So that's that's how we became partners with early learning ventures. Um, and we and and so far this is going really well. <laughs> awesome, that's what we like to hear. Yeah, that's wonderful. It's a good success story to start us off with. So, what is one thing your network has been struggling with right now that you've been able to help them with, like past our partnership? Oh, you know, it's really interesting. It seems like everyone has different needs, mm -hmm. um, and um, everyone from the actual providers themselves and the parents um, or caregivers. To, to our service providers and supplemental support services and, and, and government services too. Like everyone has a different need. <laughs> it's kind of characteristic of maybe the complexity of the work plus also the complexity of being in a pandemic right now still. So, so for example, like some folks have really low enrollments and then some folks are way at capacity. And they're a okay, lined, yeah. Lined up for years. They have babies that are not yet even come to be yet. <laughs> and and they feel like they are full, full, full. And so there's just this like these sort of opposite needs. And so um some need help, some need help like financially and with their financial planning. Um, others need help with licensing. There isn't really a one size fits all solution. Sure. Um, but we know that our providers and our partners and service providers are extraordinary at what they do. Um, they care for our kids and right. there's nothing more important than that. And then I think that the back office stuff, we can we can manage, we can yeah. handle because we've got the most important thing handled, which is taking care of those kids. And not everybody um, can do that, right? No, no, definitely <laughs> not. So we want to look at like, what are their strengths and the, their skills? Like some of them are really good at filing and record keeping and then others kind of struggle. And so we will help them to build their skills and build upon strengths, but also make sure that their we we're not um, their weaknesses aren't a, aren't a huge problem and don't open them up to too many vulnerabilities with their business. But um, you know, we want to make sure that wherever you are, that we meet you where you're at and be able to provide you the services there. But we're not seeing necessarily any one big problem. I mean, people maybe can say that everybody's experiencing, you know, this pandemic and sort of the fear and the challenges with right. being in a health crisis, but. Otherwise, I think everybody's needs are quite different. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. It's kind of sporadic depending on where they're at and what they need. Definitely makes sense. Yeah. So if people would like to learn more about the project that we've been talking about, where can they go to so for some more information on that? Yeah, we're a small pilot. And so we're just going to do this the old fashioned way, which <laughs> you can email me. Um, and we're happy to talk about anything you want to talk about. If you're another state considering um, you know, getting involved in a shared services project or something, happy to talk about that, happy to talk with any of the providers in the state of Hawaii who want some help um, with their with their back office work. Um, my email is summer, um, like the season, at aaliealliance.com. That's A-A-L-I-I-A-L-L-I-A-N-C-E.com. So we stole all the A's and the L's and the I's in the alphabet. And so that's how, <laughs> that's how that works. Love but, it. So, yeah, give me, give me an email anytime and happy to talk story. Awesome. Is there anything else the team here at ELV can be doing more to support you in the project this time? 
Oh my gosh, we have so much going on right now. So I would say that there is not really anything um, that ELV can do specifically. I know we are working through some issues with our providers. It's like kind of my least favorite time of year, which is for hack season. It's so gross. Um, so I think that's kind of top of mind for our providers. Um, and so ELV is, is, has been really great and, and open to helping us to find some solutions for um, record keeping and, and sort of tax preparation so that when they're ready to kind of file that their records um, are a little bit easier to manage, I know, but it's not my favorite thing to do either. So I think that would, <laughs> it's hard, it's hard for all of us. So maybe that's what we can offer them is some empathy that we're all, we're all not real great at um, managing oh, our preparation for taxes. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Very good points. <laughs> I'll give you the last little bit here and wrap up. I know we've got like a three hour time difference. So I want to give you your day back. Um, but is there anything else, updates, resources, or feedback you'd like to share um, on the organization's behalf for our network watching? Yeah. Thanks so much to ELV and all the other states that are participating in this work. It gives us, um, it gives us a boost um, of confidence that we can do this and that if other people are doing it, um, we're not the only ones out there. It doesn't feel so lonely. Um, so I really appreciate all the resources that you've all been sharing on What's Up Wednesdays. We've been, we, I've definitely been watching all the videos and whatnot just to learn from you all. So I appreciate that. Yeah. And then for the folks in Hawaii, you know, our spots for the 20 pilot participants are, are filling up. So um, go ahead and let me know, hopefully by March 1st, if you're interested and we can start to get you on board and figure out if your participation in the pilot is is going to be worth your time too. So um, yeah, looking for any licensed family child care providers or small centers. And in Hawaii, we're defining that as um, centers under 30 um, kids. And so i um, happy to just hear from anybody who, who wants some help. Awesome. Thank you all so much, Summer. We appreciate your time. That's all I've got for you, but I appreciate it again and hope you have a good one. Thanks, you too. Take care. Yeah. Aloha, everyone. Bye, everybody.